Okay, so another video. Yes, I'm wearing the same clothes and shirt like I was in the last video. I'm just recording this on a... I'm just uploading this on a different day, that's all. To space it out, you know. I'm taking the time to do all these videos. I want to do as many as I can so I can space them out and put them, upload them for different days and different dates. So, yeah. There, so, that's why that explains it. I don't have just one shirt, alright? And one hat. Obviously, I just like this hat because it relates to the gaming top topics that i talk about and you know so i just figured it, it's the it's an appropriate hat to wear during these videos so anyways and my hair looks stupid <laughs> so anyways um i wanted to talk about the the possible you know everybody's complaining we have too many open world games too many open world games we need more linear games uh you're absolutely right we do have too many open world games I mean, I could agree to that 100%. Just look at Ubisoft games. All their Ubisoft games, they're not bad games. They're not they're not they're not great games. They're just, you know, okay games or average games or you know, let's say if it's The Crew. The Crew's a pretty damn good game. It wasn't good right away, but you know, it was uh you know, The Crew's a uh, I'm throwing away a uh, thro throwing away something in the trash. But anyways, Crew, Crew is a pretty good game. It was the most variety of an open world game. But the problem with these open world games today is that they're they're so like you know oh just, they're so repetitive and they're so like they they're just uh, a lot of the extra side missions is just a filler. It doesn't mean anything. It's just a, a, it's just having a side mission to have a side mission, and you're just doing it to do it. You're not doing it because you because you like it or something it doesn't really have a meaning you know it's just it sucks um like uh i think some of these games today would benefit if it was a linear game like mafia 3 for example that game would have been a better game if it was a linear game mafia 2 i think possibly would have been a better because mafia 2 i don't think even was a good open world game it didn't even have I'm kind of glad it didn't have side missions. They probably would have sucked anyways. But that was 2010. Two, open world games were better in 2010. But today, they're just, they've are just they ran out of ideas or something for open world games. And also, another thing too, the budget is, is lower when you're doing an open world, a, a, a linear game. The budget for these games are just so high that it's just, sometimes they forget about everything else. And they try to focus on the big world that they're trying to make. And then all the budget goes to that, and then the marketing. But they forget about everything else, like the quality, like the gameplay, and the the side missions and stuff. All the money goes to the open world and and the marketing, you know. And and that's pretty much it. And I haven't played Watch Dogs too. I I want to play that probably eventually. Uh, I haven't played the first Watch Dogs. I I knew the backlash of that what that game got, so I never bothered. Uh, there the Mafia Three though, perfect example. I mean that game is repetitive, the most repetitive game since the original Assassin's Creed. Now I get it; every game is a, is repetitive to a certain extent because you are playing the game a lot, and you're gonna repeat the same, uh, you know, cycles of gameplay that you'll repeat over and over again. But it's just it, there was nothing. It was a whistling simulator for for Mafia Three. And the graphics sucked. You could tell the, gr the, g the game was rushed out. Yeah, the game is patched now. The shadows supposedly look a lot better. And the lighting is better too. Like it doesn't look like you're, you're, the, the sun's coming in from your screen and just blinding you. But still, I mean, that was a really, that was a really like bad open world game. Uh, a couple other games too. You know what I mean, just are just rushed out. Now... I feel like, you know, if you don't have an open world games today, your game is mediocre or something. Like, it doesn't get good reviews. Like, the new Need for Speed, for example. I'm not I'm not defending this Need for Speed game because of the stupid microtransactions it has, then the stupid loot boxes that it has for the for the for the speed stuff to un to unlock speed cards for your car, which is stupid. And I'm not defending it for the stupid online that they attacked on multiplayer that they added. But I'm just saying, the I'm defending this part of the game that I think is a stupid thing to to gripe about. Like the uh, the the races are more, and the and the events are more of 
it goes on more of a linear path. There's nothing wrong with that. I think that's fine. For a racing game, and I think it's it, the way it's done, I think that's perfectly fine. I don't have a pro- problem with that. Um, I do think that it's stupid sometimes, too. Like Some of these stories for the open world games aren't really that good, either. Because they're just like, you know, oh, man, my father, he's dying and stuff. But you're off doing other missions, like side missions and exploring. Like, it doesn't make any sense when you think about it logically, you know. But, you know, I'm not saying I don't want open world games because I do, you know. Because GTA does it the absolute best. And I love, I love, actually just Rockstar in general does it the best. You know, I, I like to, you know, everybody, you know, if you know me well, I love me some Rockstar. So, I mean... Rockstar probably does it at its best because they, they started it all. You know, yeah, the, yeah, we had Driver, we had a couple other games that were before that, but they perfected it. You know, like they, they mark, they 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 mainstreamed it. They made it, you know, streamlined. So, you know, and everybody else tried to copy it. Everybody wanted to have their own version of GTA, and now some of it is just overkill. It's overkill. It's an oversaturated market of open world games, and. In, you know, it's just, they're trying to just put all the stuff they're trying too hard, and they have nothing to offer in, in, in the side missions and stuff. So that's, that's really it. And now, uh, I'm not saying I want every game to be open. Like I said, I don't want every game to be linear, because then you'll have an oversaturated market of, of linear games, and then you won't have the creativity of open world games. So, I mean, I just think there should be a better balance between linear games and open world games. Uh and and you know the PlayStation exclusives. A lot of those, some, some, there's some really good games on there that are a linear game. Now, Order Eight Chain Six is a, is is as linear as it gets, but eh, I, that game could have been a lot be- better than than originally what it was supposed to be. I think if that game got a sequel, I think that game could could be a lot like a lot better. Uh, a lot of people complain about Knack. Knack is a good uh, linear game. I like Knack. Yeah, I know everybody makes fun of me for liking Knack. I know I get it all the time. But I like Knack. I mean, Ratchet and Clank, a linear game. Amazing game. I love that series. It's one of my favorite series of all time. So, I mean, and the original Sly Cooper. Love that game. And it was a linear game, how great it was. And some of the missions to to the other game, like 2 and 3, are also linear. So, I mean... Yeah, you have your really good linear games, you have your really bad linear games. But yeah, it's just but like I said, I'm talking in circles and, and I'm I'm ram- I'm rambling on, but it's just yeah, there there definitely should be more linear games and less open world games, especially from Ubisoft. I mean, Ubisoft is just it's overkill. They overhype their games. They have that that stupid girl talk at every single in every single press conference. She she annoys the hell out of me. Like she She'll 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 showcase a uh, she'll showcase a pile of poop and she'll be like oh you gotta get that oh yeah and then she has like a like has like a different voice and she tries to sound all cool about it it's really cringeworthy but anyway <laughs> how did I how did I get on her this su- this subject isn't even about this it has to be has to be Ubisoft of course that's what it leads to but uh, yeah even, you know what even Call of Duty Call of Duty. I love their campaigns. A great linear experience. I mean, just you could. You, it's as best as you, you can get there. But uh, but anyways, that that's really all. Uh, just wanted to talk about the linear games and what I think about them, and you know, what I think that should what what they should do with this thing. I mean, I just think it's probably EA, Ubisoft, all the publishers. They want all their big budget into the open world because it's more attractive probably and you know you, know, you there's more stuff to do and not, not unnecessarily unnecessarily like i say some games will, will, would benefit better uh or, or write that in the comments what games would benefit would have benefited if they were just a linear path uh so um so yeah just 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 uh, hit me up on there in the comments on there so uh i will uh I will be back uh, later on with some more videos.